Hello everyone. On the occasion of International Women's Day 2020, I wish a very happy Women's Day to all the women of the country and the world. On this occasion, I would express my viewpoint of our women and the equality of women in India. It's a long debate whether India is offering an egalitarian society or not, whether women in India are getting equal rights, freedoms, liberty or not. Indian society is very intensely stratified because of its multiple dimensions such as caste, class, ethnicity, gender and others. Gender stratification is a very important issue in the academic discourse, social and political arena. But here I will present a sociological viewpoint of the gender equality and gender inequality. Now one reason behind the gender stratification is very obvious which expresses by any uh, scholars who talks on uh, the gender stratification or gender inequality is the patriarchy. And patriarchy in Indian society is very deeply rooted. The scholars usually uh, consider patriarchy as the most important reason behind the gender stratification, gender inequality. And the establishment of egalitarian society has uh, remained a long standing demand for the uh, women. Here I would like to express an ethnomethodological viewpoint of gender stratification. Now Garfinkel's ethnomethodology considers that gender stratification exists in the society because of the natural attitudes of the people towards gender. This people's natural attitude shows that gender is fixed that is men and women gender is fixed and men and women gender is given that is we as a human beings we as the members of society have to learn the the role the practices traditions associated with the different genders in the society so peoples have the natural attitude towards the gender that is men and women. Man is one gender who is characterized by certain characteristics and the role of the gender of man is specified. On the other hand the woman gender which is also characterized by again a different type of the characteristics and similarly the role of the woman gender is also specified in the society and this specific understanding of the role and these characteristics of the different gender is uh, strictly rooted in the society because of the natural attitude of the people towards the uh, reality called a gender stratification. As we know a gender is socially culturally constructed. How the society create and construct gender stratification? Society create and construct gender stratification through individuals. That is individuals through their documentary method uses natural attitude towards this particular reality and makes it a sensible. That is they give sense to the reality called gender stratification and becomes and the reality becomes a very obvious. Now division in the gender becomes very obvious. If anything goes against the against the gender normativity, then the persons may be considered as or the practice may be considered as deviant. Yet if any person do anything against or opposite of the gender normativity, then it becomes a deviant practice. So my point here is that if we want to establish an egalitarian society, we have to modify the natural attitude of the Indians. That is, Indian peoples have to change their natural attitude towards gender. 
and this is according to Garfinkel that natural attitude can be modified this is not fixed this is not programmed in the mind this natural attitude can be modified so if we want to establish an egalitarian society we have to uh, modify you have to change the natural attitude of the Indian peoples that is Indian peoples have to change the natural natural attitude towards the gender so on this equation we shall pledge for an egalitarian society where every dimensions of stratification will be minimized and eliminated.